Why did I start Local FC? I just wanted to change football in this country. I wanted people to see football the way I saw it. You know, football tells these stories that you couldn't write. I wanted young people to understand our history. I wanted players not to fall out of love the way I did. What's up, Chad? Thanks for coming along. Tell us about the local FC publication you've been working on. Uh, so Local FC is a publication, an online publication I started in 2011. Um, I was privileged to be a professional footballer for 12 plus years. Uh, mm -hmm. Playing in Australia, I was a captain of the Brisbane Roar in the first two years of the A-League. Um, second year of the A-League, I, I completely fell out of love with football. It became a job um, and I took a sabbatical and, and moved away. Uh, when I played back in the day, I kind of had all these creative interests, but all right. it wasn't socially acceptable to like photography or like art when I played. Um, so I took a year off and met my partner and she really pushed me to take up you know, these creative uh, aspirations that I had and, and merged them into football. Um, I, started in, I started Local FC in 2011 and, and for me it was a way of bringing the soul back to football. I see of local FC, yeah. it kind of looks like a uh, move away from the typical like traditional jockey culture that a lot of sports seem to have. Are you trying to show like newer generations that they can be a little bit more abstract with it? Yeah, I, I mean definitely I said when I played professionally I kind of had to in a way hide who I was because I was interested in all these things yeah. outside of football and I couldn't bring that into what I did. Uh, I think obviously society's changed and it is meshing two worlds that I love, you know, the creative culture and the football world and, you know, specifically with my photography, um, for me it's about capturing moments, you know, putting, I've been in those situations and it's about putting people in the game and showing the emotion, like for me sometimes it's about the guy when he misses a goal and his response, because mm. I know that feeling and I want to showcase that feeling and, you know, we had the Asian Cup and Tim Cahill scored his scissor kick and I, I actually I captured that exact moment because I knew the ball would bounce and I knew exactly what he was going to do. Would it be right in saying that Local FC is trying to bring more of a narrative into the sport? Yeah, definitely. I think for me, like, I was very privileged to play 12 years in professional sport. I lived my childhood dream. Um, but for me now, I wanted to make a bigger impact on football in this country than when I played. Mm. And that was, for me, creating a, a place where players remembered why they played football. Fans actually got to understand what players thought and what they went through. I wanted to be a trailblazer with local FC and you know, I think it's probably the first of its kind in the football realm that yeah. you know, an ex-player has picked up a camera and you know, these are the stories that I've lived through that I now want to capture and show people. I don't tell people like, I capture game footage, I make image documentaries. Okay. So yeah. for me, every game is a documentary and I don't capture it in the essence, okay, here's the goal that was scored, here was the tackle. I give you a story of what actually happened through that. And then we have the players, which is interviewing people for me that are determining football culture in Australia and the world. Um, right. I'm very blessed that I'm part of the, the world game and I wanted to say thank you to the game that I love.